Hey, I'm Dr. Boyce Watkins. Welcome to the Black Financial Channel. That's the Black Financial Channel dot com. I'm going to give you a quick stock market update on what's going on. Um, today, I was reading about Tesla shares and how Tesla is doing quite well, but other electric vehicle stocks are really struggling. And so here's what they're saying on CNBC. Uh, Tesla has regained its footing in the waning days of the year, but some of the other names in the electric vehicle space don't seem to be following suit. Shares of the EV giant dipped in mid-November and early December as CEO Elon Musk dumped stock to pay his tax bill and tech stocks in general move lower. However, Tesla has bounced back over the past week and is on track for a healthy fourth quarter return. But strangely, Tesla's recovery has come even as the rest of the EV industry has struggled. For example, popular ways to gain exposure to the booming battery industry, such as quantum scape or lithium mining stocks, have badly underperformed Tesla in recent months. So these stocks have not done very well. Uh, in fact, quantum scape has lost 20 percent uh, in the last uh, few weeks. Uh, Livent Corporation, uh, Abel Mar Marrell, uh, to a couple companies that are also linked to that industry have not done very well. They said fellow EV companies have struggled as well with Lucid down sharply in December and Rivian losing its initial IPO pop from last month. Even with a jump of more than 10% on Monday, there are several explanations for why. Tesla stock is diverging from other green auto plays, according to Wall Street pros. One potential clue can be found in the options market where Tesla and other EV stocks are gain, get track, more traction than battery names. So right now they're arguing that the uh, heavy activity in the options market is boosting the Tesla stock price. Quote, Tesla clearly is on the top list of equity options traded almost every day. Lucid had a... Uh, had extremely high options volume for quite a while. It may not be on the list every single day, but it's often up there, said Randy Frederick, the managing director of trading and derivatives for the Schwab Center for Financial Research. Quote, the battery companies, those have a tendency to just hit the list whenever there's a specific news story about them. Increased options activity can lead to extra volatility, especially around expiration dates, and suggests that certain types of trades may be more attracted to Tesla than to other names in the space. Another potential reason for the struggling battery-related stocks is the price of lithium, which appears to play a bigger role in moving mining stocks such as Abel Marl uh, than excitement about the launches of new electric vehicles. It's absolutely based on the price of lithium. Uh, this is according to Bill Seleski, an equity analyst at Argus Research. What he also says is that I think that's what it mostly comes down to, and I don't think that's going to change anytime soon. The price of lithium has soared in 2022, but some investors are worried that it may be close to peaking and, and the future price level in in the years ahead is uncertain, according to Alexei uh, Yefremov, uh, equity research analyst at Key Bank Capital Markets. Quote, I do hear lately a little more concern about how long these price increases will continue, he said. Additionally, the final weeks of 2021 have seen a slight defensive shift in the stock market with small caps on the tech-heavy Nasdaq underperforming. That's what I also see, right? I, I see that uh, right now with this economy, you're moving toward quality. You're moving away from those what they call long duration stocks. Uh, tech stocks are companies that are not tech stocks, excuse me. Electric vehicle companies tend to be companies that aren't making a lot of money right now. They're expected to make money in the future. And uh, when companies are in that position where they're losing a lot of money now or not making very much now and their potential lays out in the future, then when you start to have things like inflation creep in, that causes stocks like that to kind of hit, get hit hard. So that's why a lot of your growth stocks got hit hard. Your tech stocks got hit hard. And I still think that many of these companies are good long-term plays, but I would be really careful about trying to pick specific electric vehicle companies because it's still a very young market. I would instead go for something like um, something like an ETF in electric vehicles or a mutual fund. Uh, that's a good way to kind of cover all your bases. So anyway, I'm Dr. Boyce Watkins. Uh, please hit the thumbs up, share, subscribe button on your way out. Also check out boycewatkins.com if you'd like to see what else we have going on. I have a stock market investing class that meets every Tuesday and you can do a 30-day free trial on that platform. So hit the thumbs up button on your way out and make sure you subscribe. I'll talk to you guys soon. Love you. Peace.